AirPlay in iOS lets you send video or audio from your iOS device to an Apple TV or another AirPlay enabled device. Screen mirroring also uses AirPlay to send exactly what's on your iOS device's display to another AirPlay enabled device. Right now I'm using screen mirroring to view the display of this iPad and iPhone here on my Mac. This can be done by going into Control Center and tapping on the Screen Mirroring button. I can then choose the device I want to mirror the display to. My MacBook Pro is only available here because I'm running an app called Reflector that makes the MacBook Pro appear as an Apple TV on the network. When mirroring the display of an iOS device, everything that occurs on the display is going to be shown on the mirrored display. The only catch is when we start viewing photos. When I tap on a photo to view it full size here on the iPad, the screen mirroring feature shifts to airplaying the photos to my Mac's display. So now let's go into Safari on the iPad and head to the MacU.com to start viewing one of the free lessons. I can view this on my iPad within the page here or in full screen. When in full screen, an AirPlay icon appears in the controls. Tap and we can select a destination to AirPlay the video to. There are four options here other than my iPad. First, we have the Living Room Apple TV and the MacBook Pro, which is using the Reflector app. These will both let me AirPlay both video and audio to them. The other two options are audio only. So I could watch this video on my iPad and AirPlay the audio to a set of AirPlay speakers for better sound. Now let's shift to a direct recording of my living room TV. I have an Apple TV device connected to this TV. Many newer smart TVs are going to have an Apple TV app built in. With that, you will also be able to AirPlay audio and video to your TV without needing the Apple TV device connected. So, here on the iPhone, I'll start playing this tutorial. With the 1.7 update to Pixelmator Pro in August 2020, a new tap the AirPlay button and I can send it to this living room TV. Let's apply text onto a smooth curve or shape. The screen on the iPhone goes dark, and the video starts playing on the living room TV in full size and quality. I'm able to play, pause, or jump forward and back from the controls here on the iPhone. Use the handles at either end of the text box to adjust where. Now let's shift to the Photos app. If I start browsing my photos in full screen, from the Share button here, we can now AirPlay them. Again, I'll choose the living room TV, and the photos are displayed on the TV in full resolution. Swipe on the iPhone to move through them. In one more example, let's move to an AirPod that I have here on my nightstand. This, is on its own. this appears in the AirPlay list as my bedroom speakers, because this is a part of a set of paired AirPods. Itself is not going to be visible. Choose this in the AirPlay options, and the audio from the current video will come through the speakers as the video plays on the iPhone. Right or control click on the blue line of the ellipse, and we get a transform path option. Of course, we can also do this with music. From the music app, tap the audio output button here. I'll choose the bedroom AirPods and the song will begin playing through them. While playing audio, we can select multiple AirPlay speakers. While this is playing the bedroom, I can add the living room and play the song through the TV sound system at the same time. The volume of each speaker can then be controlled independently. 
So AirPlay can be great for viewing video or photos from your iOS devices on big screen TVs or for listening to music on one or multiple AirPlay enabled speakers in your home.